welcome friends in our panasonic robot training how to use the teach pendant this is the part 52 and here we discuss load it loads a specified backup data to a specified file same name file skip skips the teach file if the file of the same name has been re previously loaded replace replace data of the teach file if the file of the same name has been previously loaded unless it is protected replace all files replace data of the teach file if the file of the same name including protected ones has been previously loaded load procedure you can see in this image next is verify it verifies backup data saved in the memory card and the data in the controller the dialog box to specify a file to a desired save to file name similar to the one for save appears specify a file name and click ok then it promotes you to confirm if you want to verify the backup copy after copying next one is scheduled backup it is a function to make a backup of the data in the controller to the sd memory card located on the main cpu card in the controller on a regular basis this function helps you bring the system back into close to the latest condition quite easily in case of system failure settings login as system level scheduled backup specify whether to use the function valid or not invalid schedule specifies backup interval select either daily or weekly then specify time for daily setting and day for weekly setting maximum number specify the generation number of the backup copies schedule backup procedure you can see in this image next is execution conditions the scheduled backup is automatically executed at the preset time delay time day if the following conditions are satisfied power to the robot controller is on the robot is in auto mode the teach pendant is not in use please note that the scheduled backup is executed even when the robot is in operation backup data folder a backup data is stored in a folder created in the scheduled backup folder in the sd memory card on the main cpu card in the controller the file name is composed of date of the execution plus robot model name plus production number if the number of folders in the scheduled backup folder has reached the preset maximum number the scheduled backup is executed after deleting the oldest folder from the scheduled backup folder note first the backup won't be executed if the robot is in any one of the following conditions while operating the teach pendant power to the robot controller is off mode select switch is in teach mode override icon lamp is on offline edit icon lamp is on a dialog box such as limit condition and file open is on the display screen in an error condition an error message box is on the screen second the robot goes into an error state during backup operation in the following conditions no SD memory card exists or the SD memory card is removed during backup operation. Failed to delete an old folder file. The memory card becomes out of space during backup operation. SD memory card is right protected. Once you can see our scheduled backup 2010-1103-TA-1400-WG3-2010-IO-1400-WG3-2010-IO-1400-WG3-2010-IO-1400-WG3-2010-IO-1400-WG3-2010-IO-1400-WG3-2010-IO-1400-WG3-2010-IO-
soft formatted with a standard formatting software for personal computers does not comply with the SD memory card standard download the SD format from Panasonic's website HTTP panasonic.jp support global CS SD download next is scheduled backup data transport it is a function to transfer the backup data stored on the SD memory card located on the main CPU card to an external memory such as USB memory and SD memory connected to the teach pendant with this function it is possible to take the backup data without removing the SD memory card from the main CPU card by executing the function the scheduled backup folder is automatically created in the external memory connected to the teach pendant and copy of the backup data is stored in the folder operation first select scheduled backup data transport second then select a backup data to transfer all to transfer all backup data in the SD memory card individual select it to transfer the specified backup data in the SD memory card third then on the next dialog box select an external memory the backup data is transferred to next one is removal of scheduled backup temp folder during scheduled backup operation if the robot makes an abnormal end due to power discontinuity stop operation or the like folders the scheduled backup data in process is stored with names start with temp such as temp make and temp del may be stored in the scheduled backup folder having such temp folders in the scheduled backup folder can cause memory shortage of the sd memory card this function is to remove such temp folders in the scheduled backup folder once executed it removes all folders named temp something operation select scheduled backup temp folder remove then on the display dialog box select yes note if the message scheduled backup is skipped available sd memory is low is displayed remove the temp folders with this function the process may take several minutes to complete all this procedure you can see in this image so friends here we end this part of our panasonic robot training and further information we will discuss in our next video